What is up YouTube? Today we're taking a look at how to set up protected branches in GitLab. Here's how we do it. First, GitLab is super easy because you have groups. Projects go into groups. The first thing you want to do is check your project settings under the settings button under the group. Then go to general. Under general, you'll see permissions and group features. First, you want to check your permissions to make sure they're what you want them to be. The most important ones to make sure of are first, members can't invite new people outside of your org. Second, only developers and maintainers are allowed to create new projects. Projects. Why? In general, only maintainers are responsible for the project, while developers push code and open merge requests against the project. Next, you want to try to enforce two-factor authentication if you can. If you use something like Okta, this might not apply to you. Next, under repository, default branch. This is where you can just mass deploy your branch protection rules. This is the most normal one where developers can't push new commits, but maintainers can. Next, if I want to change the specific settings in a specific project, I can go into my project. Then under settings, I go into general. Under settings, go to merge requests. And under merge requests, I can't do merge request approvals because that requires a paid commitment, which I haven't made. But if I had, I could choose how many people are required to approve a merge request before it gets merged. This is what most people mean when they say branch protection. Next, here's where I can set merge checks to make sure that I require all checks to succeed before something gets merged. But now, for the branch itself, under repository, under protected branches, these are generally the settings that you want. Only maintainers are allowed to merge, which means the people who can actually hit merge on a merge request. Allowed to push and merge. What's the difference between push and merging? Here's what git push looks like and why it's bad. Ah, I'm an insecure change, help. I'm gonna add this change. I'm gonna add this change. I'm gonna commit this change. I'm gonna push this change and I don't care. Now, if we look, oh no. I change. It made it. What should I do instead? Well, I just violated a bunch of compliance requirements. Aww. So let me fix this to say, I'm compliant now. Now I'm gonna check out a new branch. I'm gonna push my change. I'm gonna commit my change. Now, I have a new change. I'm going to create a merge request. Normally, I could require an approval, but GitLab makes me pay for it. Aww. I create my merge request. People approve it. There's a pipeline running. It's running scans. I approve. It'll merge when it's done. This is taking far too long. My DevOps team will be hearing about this. Once again, I fix that setting by going here, 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 here. This should be no one. This should be off. Only people can merge who are maintainers of the project. Everything's done. We've merged. And now, we're deploying. Glacier.